65. Yeah, I think that's either the same one or that's a different one. Uh, I think it was between like 40 and 60 or maybe 40 and 80. That's not bad. Not bad at all. That might be the the other uh, the rep though. Cause, cause my my boy Nick he 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 got like his was like he spent in total for his it was like two fifty. I'm not sure what year that one is yet. I have to see. It might be the same one. It might like I said, it might be different from last time I came. Probably just a kick on. That's what I was saying for that price. Yeah. Cause Nick, my friend, you know what I'm talking about. He spent two fifty on his. Yeah, yeah, still badass, still badass. That's like one of the ones you can't really say too much for. You're like, okay, all right, dang, man, but you're not pulling up in an Aventador or a Mercilago replica or this, uh, nah, I couldn't do that at all. That's that's just, nah. And then you're gonna try, you're gonna spend, if you really wanna get it crazy, right, 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 including the motor, but you ain't gonna have the same, you're gonna spend like 80 to 100 to it. At least I know I would if I was, a, I'm on the craziest, this and you know what I mean? So it's, like, it's not even worth it, dude. I still don't think this is a bad price though at all, considering that, like you know, competition what it is. Yeah. I mean, for me personally, I'm not a Mercedes fan. I like the uh, the uh, uh, the AMG GT out there, and I like the uh, the S63 or S65 AMG. You know, uh, I, I kind of like the C63, but not like that. Like that, I like the C63 AMG, the Black Series. You know, like those three type of cars. Those are like the ones that I like. It's bad now. It's nice. It's nice. I really like this. You know, if you're a Mercedes, that's what I'm saying. You have to figure out what type of car you like. Because you got to understand, prices for a, a regular standard car, dude, is at least 100000 If you If you get a M3 or a C63 or RS4, if they still made the RS4, they got the S4, you know, you're going to spend like 80 to 100 grand. So it's like the base car. So if you got a brand new Honda Accord, dude, fully loaded, fully with everything, you're gonna spend like 50. So for a, a, a regular nice car, you're gonna spend at least 100,000 on the regular car. So that's just how the, the prices is now. Which is understandable for me. The price is now better than it was like when I first moved to Cary. You know, back when we was in you know, eighth grade and stuff. Yeah, what they did, they, what's this one, the SF, what, SF 550? Oh, it's 63 AMG. Yeah, what they did, they had, um, they put twin turbos on, but before they still had twin turbos, they were like, the SL65 was a V12. I'm pretty sure they probably changed that. But they downsizing them and putting twin turbos on everything. You know, the motor to make it more economical, but still more horsepower, but I'd rather still have the higher motor. And if I like the car that much, I'm gonna do the twin turbo regardless. You know what I mean? That's how I look at it. So like the M5s, they like, they was, they had models that was V10s, now they V8 twin turbos. Give me the V10. If I'm that crazy about twin turbo, I'll put that in with the big thing. But people be complaining about gas. It's like, why would you complain about gas? Like, you never heard me complain about gas in that car. <laughs> I might tell you that it's not that, that good compared to your car, but I never been like, hey, man. Don't get it for the gas if that's what you want, for the speed and everything else. Get a Honda Accord on the side. I like how they got that set up though. Is that 65? 
Hey, look, this D Wayne favorite, all time favorite, man. He in love with them Corvettes. Is this the 2019? I'm not sure the year, but it's the Z06. If I could buy a car right now, what it be? 2019 Corvette. I'd rather, I'd rather pick a Porsche. 200 I, and 20 something miles. Nah, it don't do no 220. Yeah. No, you you it talking about the Z R? You talking about the ZR one? That don't even do 220. It does two something. It do like 212 or 215. Yeah. Goes over miles per hour. Yeah, but I'd rather pick a Porsche box of spider over that. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I, I love the Cor If I had to pick any muscle car, it would be the Corvette. Because I like convertibles. I'm not going to pick a Mustang. I like the Challenger Demon. I ain't going to, you know, I'm not going to go for the, the Camaro ZL1. I'd go for the, the, the Z06 or the ZR1 if I was that crazy with muscle car. But really, I, honestly, I still wouldn't even pick that because. I'd rather just go with the Viper. It's a 16. Yeah, that's a nice whip, though. I like them. I like them. I like them. I like them. I, I, I really love them. Like I said, that, those would be my picks, man. If I was that muscle car type dude, man, I'm just like, hey, man, let me. But, you know, for my business, I can't I can't do it because this has to be my everyday car or something. Yeah, I could I could use it for my business, but I kind of could. Cause I'd be at the same stuff I do now. You know what I mean? I, I can't do that. You know how much the nineteen. This has to be my everyday car. Sixty three. Uh, Have you heard about the sledgehammer they used to have? No, 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 no. But listen, the, the nineteen sixty three. Uh huh. You know how much it's worth right now? How much? Half a million. Okay, that sledgehammer probably worth about that or a quarter. You know, back then, it was like an 88 sledgehammer or 88, 89, 90. I'm pretty sure it's 88. It did like 220 or 225, 230 back then. So you can imagine how much these Corvettes can be worth. Yeah, over time, definitely. 40, 50 years from now. Oh, yeah, for sure. For sure. But you know what's really going to be worth that money? The car I've been waiting to come in here and see hand on hand. Because the first one when I came in here, I missed it. Because my work and stuff, man, I missed it. And it was actually a manual. But now they got one. That's why I ain't even looked at it yet. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. What? Yeah, um, demon. Uh-uh. I don't want no demon. Yeah, about? Right there, pretty red. Uh, pretty yeah. Cause you remember I told you between the Vantage GT, the 360, or the... Uh, I would include the Gallardo, too. Though. I wouldn't mind having, you know what I'm saying, having that in there. Included for three cars. So, between those three. But I mainly came for the 360, though. We had this car, that one, that one, that, or that. What are you picking? Everybody comment. 